how do we use the performance metrics? Okay, very good question. So let me pull up the performance metrics. So if we go to, let's pull up UMA. So UMA is a project that has been on the up and up. So performance metrics really help you compare how well a cryptocurrency is performing versus Bitcoin. So in this case, so think of this as different metrics quants would use, basically quantitative investors. Um, so we have over, we have 54 different quantitative data points that are helpful to investors. And the benchmark we use is Bitcoin because we think Bitcoin is kind of the benchmark in the, in, in the market. So looking at this, this kind of gives you perspective, right? So UMA, since it launched here uh, on, on June 1st, 2020, it's done a 8x over 800% return versus Bitcoin. Nice, so this kind of gives you perspective on that. And this helps you, this, this really just helps you compare versus Bitcoin, right? Because so, sometimes you're better off holding Bitcoin than going into an altcoin, right? So this in a way kind of tells you, okay, this is how this cryptocurrency is faring versus Bitcoin, right? So here we have the Sharpe ratio, Sotina ratio, the max drawdown as since it launched, the, right? So this right now is still pretty technical, but we are working on creating a performance metrics grade and then also turning this into an index. And in our testing, the performance metrics grade, putting that, taking all this data and putting it into our AI, this has been the best predictor for returns or, or, or phrased a different way. This has been the most accurate grade we have in testing. So we're very, very excited to launch this, hopefully in, in September, probably mid to end September, I would say maybe towards the end of September, but currently in testing, just to kind of give things perspective, 80% of, tra of traders lose money, essentially, right? And then the good traders who are good, I mean, a good trader has a win rate of, I would say 50 to 55%. Right, so basically, the they're slightly better off than than gambling, or just tossing a, a coin, um, and that's just the, the the good good traders, right? Then with our grades right now, the accuracy for for the grades that we have the ratings uh, is about I would say high fifty fives to low sixties. The highest we have is sixty five percent accuracy, and that's the the, the technology grade that. The, the, basically the code reviews, the overall grade has an accuracy of about 62%, but the performance metrics grade that we're, that we're testing right now, right now in testing, it has an accuracy of about 74%. So basically seven out of 10 times, it's right. Now when we say accuracy, we mean that when we give something a high grade, it ends up performing well, versus giving something a low grade, it ends up not doing well, right? This is kind of how we measure accuracy, right? Um, so because basically we, we give grades of zero to 100% and then we measure how how well it's performed based on the growth, based on the ROI, right? So we use our AI models and the metrics that we have here, right? So in this case, 54 metrics to then see how accurate it is. So in testing, this is blowing everything else out of the water. So as a result, we want to add this as a new grade to token metrics in September. So that's kind of how we would use the, the metrics. Uh, Bill, anything to add to that in terms of kind of quant metrics and how to use them? Well, the thing I like to use is sharp ratio. Um, I like to compare the sharp ratio of something versus Bitcoin. So I think, you know, UMA was five and Bitcoin was one. Uh, I like to use sharp ratio said simply as just how how risky is it, mm -hmm. right? Or how volatile is it, is really more like it, right? So if you see something that has, you know, a volatility, a sharp ratio of five, you know, it's probably done in 8X, which is what's happened. Um, guys in equities, they use it, okay? When they watch the sharp ratio of something increased, right? So if mm -hmm. something's already mooned and you see the sharp, ratio start to tick up it could mean that another move is coming all right now that said 
I can't wait to have the quant indicator out there, right? Because I can't know everything about every metric. I mean, <laughs> quant geniuses do, but I would love to outsource the quant genius part to RAI, RAI, and then I can just use it. So small commercial there. Small. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Yeah, I mean, so definitely be sure to join Token Metrics if you haven't yet already, because we keep on innovating, trying to take all our crypto family to the moon by making them smarter investors. <laughs>